We've got some great updates to how we're uh, making it easier and faster to import CAD files into Jigspace. And I want to show you a couple of those. The first one being when you bring in uh, a CAD file now, if you have any colors attached to objects or sub-objects uh, and parts in the file, those colors are now uh, automatically imported into the jig, uh, which is a, a great step forward. And you'll see this example here uh, that I've just brought in uh, would normally be a grayed out uh, uh, object now and, and, and set of sub-objects. But now uh, when you see me uh, zoom in here, you can see that the uh, board here, which is blue, uh, yellow, gold pins, um, you know, the black plastics and so on, has all come through from that step file. So it's going to speed up a ton of time in either repainting your models uh, or they're trying to distinguish between, you know, parts that they joined here or there uh, and so on, uh, which is great. And especially if there's nested uh, objects underneath others or inside others. Um, so for example, inside this USB port, you can see that uh, these connectors here, um, you'd normally have to kind of pull those out to maybe set the color right. That's going to happen automatically, which is awesome. Uh, and then you can just get on with making your jig. Um, or spend a little bit more time turning those colors into uh, even nicer uh, materials. So uh, this uh, you know, yellow for the pins, I'm going to make a, a pure gold, for example, which means it gets these uh, nice lighting effects um, over there uh, as an example. Now, the second thing that we're doing when it comes to uh, improving the CAD import process is uh, giving you the option to automatically build labels on your uh, objects uh, from the file itself. Uh, so for example, uh, on this uh, say USB uh, connector here, if I wanted to add a label uh, to this on a step, um, I tap on the label here, uh, I might type uh, USB part number um, one, two, three, for example, always show so that when somebody goes to that step, they see, you know, that label appear. Um, or if I wanted it just to be, um, you know, anywhere that on an on a interactive point of view, I can also do that. So for example, um, PCB board for, you know, um, I, can, I can just type that in there and then when someone interacts with it, uh, it appears. But that, that, that can be very time consuming and often uh, you may not have the information handy or you're going to have to split screen with SolidWorks um, or whatever CAD program you're using and Jigspace and re-enter the data. Incredibly annoying. So what we've uh, done as an as a improvement here is let you just import it from the file. So to do that, what you have to do is make sure that your model is in what we call the group mode. So that means where the three cubes at the top here, you can see me tap it, become blue, the outline of your uh, model. Uh, is also blue and when it's in that grouped mode you just need to tap on the label button which I've done there and tap use names from file and it'll override any labels that you've already put in there so be careful doing it if you've already uh, made some changes or added new labels in there make sure you want to remove all those and add these ones in if you hit OK all the labels uh, are instantly set and then you'll see uh, if when you go into that uh, sub, -ob sub object mode that you know, USB type B 001-12, which is the part name of this uh, USB port on this board is now there. And if I tap on the, the main PCB board here, you'll see that that plate line uh, key is there as well. Uh, these pins are there as well with their keys. So it's, it does them all uh, in one big go. If you wanted to remove them all, you can just get rid of them by uh, going back to the group mode, tapping on labels and say clear all labels. So it's simple as that. It's going to save you a ton of time uh, doing that. Um, and the other changes that we've done uh, that uh, are great is we've just improved some of the performance and speed of uploading files. So they're around 20% faster when you upload them. And we're spending a lot more time on SolidWorks and FBX files to improve uh, errors and things like that in that space. Uh, and lastly, free users now get access to step files when they upload them up to 30 megs. So we're spending a lot of time uh, in the CAD space trying to make uh, your lives easier, improve speeds, improve uh, features there. And the next feature coming, uh, hopefully in January uh, when we finish it, uh, is going to be scaling and true scale so that uh, any scale attributes that are in your CAD files uh, can be uh, retained and kept and used uh, in Jigspace as well.
So lots happening in that space. Love to hear your feedback uh, once you start using uh, these new features. And of course, any other ideas that you have, uh, we're, all, we're all ears and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.